Hey guys, we're back with another recipe today and we think it is amazing. It is so tender and juicy. It and is. If you've ever tried Steve's How to Make Flat Iron Steak on this channel, then you know this recipe is going to be fabulous. And tender. Oh my gosh, so juicy. You are going to love mm. it. And you know, football season, and I don't know, I love to make fajitas during football mm. season. And look, she's got her Bama shirt on. Yeah, well, and Jennifer, she got this for me for my birthday. That's right. It's Sheila's birthday week when we're filming this. So I know. <laughs> I love birthday weeks. Roll Tide. Exactly. <laughs> so, so far, so good. So far, so good. So anyways, we're going to take you back and we're going to show you how to make these delicious yes. flat iron steak fajitas. So let's get started. So we got one medium onion here. Thinly sliced. Let's get some of this stuff prepped up. And I like to cut these long strips like we're going to do here with our bell pepper in a minute. We're just going to slice up this bell pepper and I don't want the seeds, just the outside. We're going to do that with all three colors. I like all that color, don't you? I love color. You know I like color. <laughs> <laughs> very colorful. <laughs> so we're going to... very appetizing that way. It is appetizing that way. And I think a lot of people agree. we got a colorful plate. And look at that. See how colorful it is? Exactly. So we got some flat iron steak here. And this is in the section where you usually find your skirt steaks and stuff like that. And you'll see, but make sure it says flat iron steak because you want this cut of meat. And it's pretty decently priced. It's not too expensive. The easiest way is like Steve did, we're just going to cut this right in half. Yeah, a good sharp knife. With a good sharp <laughs> knife, <laughs> exactly. Super easy to get out of the package that way. And we're just going to put these on a plate and we are going to prepare our wet rub. So, some chili powder. One teaspoon of that. Mm -hmm. And some garlic powder. Got a teaspoon of that. Then, onion powder. And I'm just doing rounded teaspoons here. Cumin. Teaspoon of that. And some coarse pepper. Black pepper. I like to use the coarse black pepper. And some salt. Mm-hmm. Gotta have the salt. And some brown sugar. And I'm just going to mix this together until it's combined. Now, you guys could use regular fajita mix if you want, but we want to make our own seasoning. So we've got two tablespoons of olive oil in here. We're going to put a tablespoon of lime juice and mix it together. And the lime is going to help make the steak tender, too. Pour that over the steak. You want to coat? You're having fun right there, aren't you, Jim? I am. I'm going to coat both sides of it. I'm making a mess is what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to help the seasoning stay on. Let me go wash my hands. Okay. Yeah, I get them hands washed. Oh, there yeah. you go. Get all that off there. Then we're going to take this yummy seasoning we made and this rub and put it in on both sides all over the steak. Steve really likes seasoning his stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And his method of making the steak was just perfect, so that's why we're going to use it for this dish here. So I'll get both sides. And we are going to reserve a little bit of this for our vegetables, too. So we're just going to set a little bit of this aside and use it here in a little bit. And we just want to rub that in to the steak. Really good. And then we got our skillet on medium high and we've already pre-oiled the skillet. And so we are going to pop those in. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. <laughs> Gotta knock that one I'm, on the floor. You know I'm not gonna eat that if you throw it over. 
<laughs> not raw I anyway. I get the crumbs, but not this one. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to get this searing up. We have it, like I said, on medium high. And we're going to sear both sides. Flip it over. And we're going to do this about 10 to 12 times. Keep flipping it every minute or so. Not like what Steve did. Exactly. We're going to keep flipping it. So this is on medium now. We flipped it down and we're going to continue to flip it. We turned it down, not flip it down. <laughs> Something like that. Either way. <laughs> Either way. So then once we've done that about 10 or 12 times, we're going to add some butter. butter. We love the butter. Everything's better with butter. Steve would say butter on butter. Yeah, everything's better with butter. <laughs> Butter on butter. So we've got about uh, three tablespoons of butter here. And we're going to flip those over and get the other side. Now I'm going to turn these down to medium low. And we're going to continue to flip them. We're going to let them cook for a minute with the butter on. And we're going to flip them over and do the other side. That looks so good. Oh, it smells so good. Smell a vision on this one. Oh, definitely. That one doesn't, I'm not sure if that one's a bigger piece, but this one I think is done. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside on a plate. And then I'm just going to cook this just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. And then we'll set this one aside. Then we're going to cover it. Yeah, we'll cover it with a Reynolds wrap. With a foil. And then in the same delicious pan with all these drippings, we're going to add our veggies. Yes. And green peppers, red peppers, and onions. Olive oil. A little tablespoon of olive oil. And we're going to let this cook in this wonderful flavor in this pan. I love a cast iron skillet. I know, it's awesome. You would not believe the uh, cast iron that Steve bought. Oh, I know, he had lots of them. He loved Lodge. And we're just gonna let that get tender a little bit, but not too tender. I like it, it depends on how you like it. I like mine a little bit crisp, but somewhat, you know, yeah. tender. So while that is cooking, I'm just about done here. We're going to uncover the steak and slice it up thin. And you want to cut across the grain. And so look at that, just tender. I'll go fast here. Yeah, speed up. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. Hurry up. <laughs> look at that. It's just perfect. Super tender. Mm, look at that. Yum. And then we're going to take this delicious meat and all those juices, and we're going to put it right back into the pan. But first, we are going to... Use the seasoning. Use that seasoning we reserved. Mm -hmm. Season up those veggies. It looks like those are about ready. So now we'll add it back in the pan. Right. Going back in. Now look at that. Juice and all. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. That's all a meal in itself. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And I'm just going to mix it in here, and I'm going to turn this off the heat. I don't want this meat to cook anymore. I'm pretty much done here. So we are going to mix it in and serve some of this yummy stuff up. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Delicious, tender, flat iron steak fajitas. The seasoning is awesome. Mm, let's try some. Delicious with some tortillas and some pico de gallo and mm, 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 salad, mm, mm. sour cream, guacamole, whatever you got. Serve it up. Avocado. Yes. Two, Two forks up. up, as Steve would say. Are these the best flat iron steak fajitas you've ever tried? If, if it ain't, ain't, it ought to be. be. 
We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye! Well, that's she, she and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time, right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.